City of York Council invested in an electric car following the Plugged-in Fleet Review on behalf of the Energy Saving Trust. This is our electric car and it's our most popular pool car which is used 40 to 50 times a month, mostly short and medium length journeys under 50 miles. So we're going a little further today. We're off to London from York, distance of 200 miles. And to do that in an electric car, we're going to need to charge up along the way. Fortunately, there are some rapid charges that have been put in place which allow us to boost the car's range in 20 to 30 minutes. What the Energy Saving Trust's Plugged In Fleet Review concluded was that pure electric vehicles aren't uh, suitable for TriStar. However, what they did suggest is we might want to trial plugged in hybrid technology. And that's what we're doing with this vehicle over here. This is a Volvo V60 diesel plug-in hybrid, and we currently have three of them on the fleet. Based on feedback from customers and chauffeurs, we might look to increase that. We're always looking for ways to improve the level of service we deliver to our customers, and if we can do that at the same time as reducing our impact on the environment, it's a win-win for everybody. This year we have funding from the Office of Low Emission Vehicles to offer 100 fleets across the country free electric vehicle advice. Each of the organisations that we work with will receive a free tailored review of their fleet with clear recommendations of whether we think electric vehicles will be cost effective and practical for their organisation. We're working in partnership with EDF Energy, who are our infrastructure partner, and they're helping the organisations that we work with really understand what the implications are of installing recharging points and understanding what it means to recharge an electric vehicle and understanding the cost and practical and safety implications of recharging. We're also working in partnership with Root Monkey, who are our scheduling partner, and they are looking at helping organisations maximise the mileage from electric vehicles and really to get the best out of those vehicles. So together, we're offering a holistic package of measures to help organisations really understand the business benefits of going electric. So here we are at Woodhall Services. We've covered 60 miles. And as you can see, we're charging up using a rapid charger. The, the electricity is free. And it takes around 20 minutes, which gives me just enough time for a cup of tea. I would never imagine that we could save £9,000 per vehicle by switching to electric. For us, it's a no-brainer. And as we bring new vehicles onto our fleet, they will all be electric. Driving electric is actually perfect for the city. With all the stops and starts, our drivers prefer them and we never had a problem to get the job done. We analyse real-life vehicle data from each of the fleets we work with. All of our plugged-in fleet participants get three free days of consultancy and we help them build a business case to use electric vehicles. Of course, if that isn't the case, we'll make that clear as well. After the review, there's no obligation to take action, but if we can demonstrate that it makes financial, operational and environmental sense, then why wouldn't the fleet want to go electric? So, here we are in London. We've made it to Trafalgar Square in our electric car from York using rapid charge points along the way and at no cost of electricity, supply free. So not only is the, is the fuel incredibly cheap on an electric car, but there's a £5,000 grant off the purchase price and no road tax to pay. So incredibly cheap to own and run. It just goes to show what you can do. Last year we worked with 25 organisations and over 60% of them have said that they have already invested in or intend to invest in electric vehicles. As you can see from some of the fleets that we've worked with including City of York Council, TriStar and Fruitful London, there really are some impressive benefits that come from going electric. 
places are available for the Plugged In Fleets initiative on a first come first serve basis. So if you want to get involved, I really recommend you get in touch with us soon.